Okay, back to the next step. We're actually going to mount our blade. A bit of rod today. We're going to make the bushes. And this is a few of the materials we need. I haven't actually got the right bearings. That. So I went down to my local DIY store. And as you can see, that's an absolute perfect fit for that. That is an absolute perfect fit for the bearing but you have to press it in, hence the reason why you can see that we've already got one pressed in and that is a perfect fit for that hence we make a perfect bush these are just standard skateboard bearings at the wheels our next job obviously is to mount them bearings in these two pieces this is that scrap piece that was no good for the blades it is absolutely perfect for doing the horizontal so we're going to mount that there because our fan blade is going to be on the front and we're going to mount that one there with the bearing going straight through the middle of that there so the first thing is to find the place for these bearings that's 150 millimeters long I'm not bothered with no diagram so that I can actually measure that that is just the same width as that that's an off cut from that and it's the same length as that, 150 millimetres, minus the thickness of the base. So they come out perfectly level at the top. The first thing we've got to do is clamp them two together in the centre like so. So the top edges must align. I'm just going to screw it there and there. Now I like to actually space my bearings, but actually you could just put them in the timber either side. So that's our timber screwed together to go on the end of so. We now need to find the centre for the bearings and our little pulley that we built yesterday. So I like to measure 5mm down from the top like so. We know that's 100mm, so it's 50mm to the centre, plus us 5, so we need to come down 55mm and that's our centre line just there. Right, what we need to do now is drill an hole where that crosses, I know you probably can't see that we need to drill a hole through there and we can drill that as a pilot just for now because we want a small hole just so it makes a mark on both sides when we go through a 3mm drill bit now we've drilled the hole all the way through we need to find a drill bit that's slightly shy about half a mil of your bearings so I don't know which bearings you're going to use, these are just ones that I happen to have so they're the ones I'm going to use you can get these off the internet, all different sizes you could probably get some to actually fit the diameter of the bar properly or you may change the diameter of the bar use some thicker stuff like a so which fits these bearings quite well that's what, that's what I should do, but I'm not sticking to my guns to do now is to sink this drill bit in this piece of timber both sides so far down to allow a recess for these bearings to go in but we want to leave about a mil of the bearing sticking out for each bearing on each side of that timber now we've, we've done both sides as you can see uh, I can't actually get my bearings in that easily because they're press fit so I'll put them in the vise and press them in um, to make them nice and tight the next thing we need to do is we need to drill an hole through there for clearance for those washers so you need a clearance bit and in this case I actually use a 16 millimeter you can see nice clearance not too much the aim of this is to only leave the outer edge of the bearing resting on the flange or as close as right as you can see I've drilled the, the clearance hole all the way through now you can actually see we've got a bearing arbor on each on each side of the face now one of our bearings has already got the one part of the shimming so we've got to make one for the other bearing now so I'm now going to cut that off and we're going to cut it about half a millimetre narrower than the internal of this bearing next thing I like to do just one little tip these little spaces we've put in must be sat below the surface of the bush of the bearing. Now the next thing we need to do is to part them 
like so. And we need to screw that on the front of there perfectly in line. As you remember our bearing was sticking just slightly proud, so we've got to build a cap for that to stop that bearing from moving. Right, that's the two donuts done as I call them. They're actually the housings for the bearings. And you put them there and you can just pin them in position or screw them, whichever you want to do. Just hold the bearing in place. I actually glue them in as well. Now they're the two awkward I used. Now in order to make those with these two, all I do is pin my scrap piece of tin that I'm using to an old board. I then cut the centre hole out first. I then change the blade and because that sticks out that will go into the board so you've got your guide and you cut the second one and what you end up with is that I actually will, will just glue those in position like so and then put tacks in on both as you can see that's our two housings the next job is to mount that one like so quick clean up and we've now got to that stage and we've got that now obviously that mounts there so the spindle can go through but what I like to do first is I like to cut myself a block now I've pre-done all this to speed things up that will go in there and that will go on there now the one thing you must do is make sure that block is absolutely perfectly square everywhere including that way so in other words you've got to get all the cuts perfect what we do then is we screw that block as you can see I've already pre-done this one so I've stripped it down just to show you how I did it so I will now screw that block on there making sure that that stays perfectly in alignment so what you should end up with is something that looks like that very very strong you see perfectly aligned also need to check it that way make sure it's perfectly aligned that way to be silly calculations but if that's out at that point you might as well do that with it. Only kidding.